that hurt? <laughs> Any time left to replace the U.S. men's national team coach. I guess that's leading us into this conversation. Um, oh, and perfect, Brad, because this is the one thing that uh, – so I was – we were talking about Greg and his rehiring, and we, of course, we did a whole show on the whole Reina thing. and the the whole, I mean, we had get all the information. We've had guests that were there, blah, 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 and told us about the situation. So we had it all. When we laid it out, we made a timeline, blah, 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 blah. blah. And that's re regardless of all that. Um, I was with you, Alexi, when you said... Well, you, you were a card-carrying member of the One clubs, one Cycle Club for a while. So there. were you. I so am. Were so you, I'm, the Brett, I'm, the, I'm the president. One Cycle. One, yeah. You were the president, the president of, one, of the club. one Cycle and you're gone. And I thought... You know, why did you make the exception for Greg? Because I found, like, that's you breaking your own principle. And I realized that Greg was kind of screwed over a little bit by the phone call by, you know, Raina's mom. And that was really atrocious. And what they did was absolutely horrible. But why not stick to just your basic four years and done or one cycle and done? Why make the exception in this case? Precisely because of the way that you described it, in that I didn't want him not to be given the opportunity because of what happened. Uh, to your point, yeah, I, I believe that it can get stale. I believe that one cycle is enough. I believe that you are a caretaker and that hopefully you hand it off after that cycle in better shape than when you took it over, like anything else, you know, a presidency or anything, anything else, right, going forward. Um, the situation that happened obviously was unique and was rare and I thought was, you know, ultimately pretty, pretty, pretty wrong and despicable um, in the way that it all came down. Had, and you know, by all accounts, the United States Soccer Federation was ready to sign him and continue on, okay? And while I have made it very, very clear that I didn't want two cycles and I would have disagreed <coughs> with that, it's ultimately their decision. And I didn't want what happened to take precedence, I didn't want ha what happened to have that power over his opportunity, and that's how that's how I justified it. Uh, justified it to myself. Now, in doing that, have they made a decision that ultimately is going to, you know, uh, fail or is not going to give us the best chance going forward? Whether it's this summer or more importantly in 2026, yeah. Yeah, maybe. And so I guess this all comes back to what happened after that World Cup. And if that hadn't happened, then I would have continued would have continued on. But the Federation wanted to continue on with him. And I don't want him or anybody else, for that matter, to be denied that opportunity based on what I thought was 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 wrong ultimately and sorted stuff that had nothing to do ultimately with him as a coach. Well, here's how I saw it. I said, yeah, that was really wrong. What Mrs. Raina did was bad. Um, the phone call, obviously, bad. Um, and it was negative. Obviously, it was atrocious. But I was like, but I'm still sticking to it. Four years and done. One cycle, done. Um, I, I felt bad that that all had to come out. I, had, I felt horrible that we're going back 30 years talking about, you know, whatever happened after a night of drinking, which wasn't good. It was bad. That was bad too. But I think they're married now. We've, they've moved on, obviously. It's horrible that they had, that had to be come out and become public. And, uh, but I, I, I stuck with the guns mm -hmm. and I think Brett did too. And I, I we thought mm -hmm. you kind of like uh, betrayed us there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get so, it. I get what, it. Listen, what, what, what do you, whether you said uh, that he should be rehired or you, or you alluded to it, the fact that he should be rehired, it made it sound like you're, you went from being a one cycle, then this incident occurred and you're like, okay, well I want Greg now. That's what it, that's what it kind of oh, sounded yeah, yeah, like. Yeah. It was, it, I became very, I guess, positive or proactive in that, now I want you to hire him because I was so incensed by what happened. Yeah. Like, like honestly, I was, I was ready. Okay, done. We're moving on. That's, uh, that's great. You know, it, it, it was an okay World Cup. Um, you know, you can see progress and stuff like that. All right, we're moving on. Fine. No problem. Greg can go and do, do his thing. And then the shit hit the fan and we're back to a, a situation where, again, I wouldn't want you. And I also, 
while, while I like Greg and I think he's a good coach, even if I didn't like Greg or I didn't think he was a good coach, I wouldn't want somebody, you know, again, to, to be tarnished like that and to miss out on an opportunity, even somebody that I didn't, that I didn't like. And so, yeah, it became, it became much more of a, I guess, a, a moral stand, if you will, and maybe a little righteous in, in, in what I was, what I was saying, but you know, I just, it had nothing to do necessarily even with kicking a ball. And maybe again, that's detrimental ultimately to what everybody wants, which is a good soccer team that wins games. And hopefully at some point wins a men's, wins a men's world cup. But in sure. this case, I, I, I looked at it as there's things that are more important. And the, um, the opportunity that was there for him, I wouldn't want that taken away from me or you because of uh, because of what happened, and you know the the past type of thing that was that was brought up just rubbed me the wrong way. No, I, mean, I get. Go ahead, Brent. I was going to say hindsight's always twenty twenty, and we know now that there was there have been multiple sources have come out and said that U.S. soccer was always planning on rehiring, regardless of the investigation. Right. Um, um, but I mean, I guess I guess my stance on the whole thing would have been, regardless of how horrible the incident would have occurred, and you know, you'd say, hey, I hope this doesn't necessarily you know, take away an opportunity, but I'm still a one cycle purist here. So I don't know. I would, I would, hey, listen, I would, you, you might get, you might get a cycle too, and a half here too. I mean, to Artem's, <laughs> Artem's question down there, uh, you know, look, this, I, I do think that if it goes poorly this summer, that there is absolute cause for a change to be made. And maybe the last, the last time that you can really I guess maybe maybe not, but maybe the last time legitimately that you can make it two years before the World Cup, obviously within a summer where there will be opportunities, there will be names out there maybe, and there will be, who knows, maybe what you consider upgrades uh, going forward. Now, I do think it has to be an unmitigated failure this summer. And what the definition of that, everybody has, everybody has their, uh, you know, has their own idea of what that is. But it, it, I, I don't think it's beyond the pale and I don't think it's unfair to, you know, I had Greg on the State of the Union, and that was the first question that I asked him is, does your job hinge on what happens this summer? You know, and he, he hemmed and hawed. But I think he does recognize that he, as an individual, needs to have a good summer. And obviously, it's completely relative to how his team does in this Copa America. And this is a team that's not going to have to go through qualifying. This is the last real time that we're going to see them. They might schedule something going forward, but in a legitimate, it's the closest thing we're going to see to a World Cup, given the size and given the quality that they're come up against. And so I think it's completely fair for us to expect something that we haven't seen before that justifies, you know, take away my justification for him continuing on, but your justification, if there is one, it's that, all right, well, then we should see something better and we should improve and we should see that this summer. I think that's fair to expect. That hurt.